I welcome you to this session of ISO 9001 2015 and today we are going to discuss clause number 8.5.6 control of changes. So as usual first of all I will read out the requirement to you as given in the standard. Clause number 8.5.6 control of changes. The organization shall review and control changes for production or service provision to the extent necessary to ensure continuing conformity with the requirements. Next para, the organization shall retain documented information describing the results of the review and review of changes, persons authorizing the change and any necessary action arising from review. It's a very small clause. Now let us discuss it in more detail. Well, as the clause says, it is regarding the control of changes. If we wish to make, make any changes to the product or the service, so that it meets the customer and other requirements, other requirements may include requirement of the organization, requirements of the various clauses of the standard, regulatory requirement, and any other requirement. So, um, the product or the service is being carried out according to the requirement of the customer. Now, the organization has to review and control the changes of product and service provision if any changes have to be made to the extent necessary to ensure what, what we have to ensure, we have to ensure continuing conformity with the requirements. If the product or the service that we are making for the customer is not meeting customer requirements, then we have to consider making changes to the product or the requirement, product or the service. So the, the next para says the organization shall retain documented information describing the results of reviews of changes. So when we have to make changes, we have to review the entire thing, review the process of production, review the process of service provision and whatever uh, is involved in taking out the product and offering it to the customer or offering the service to the customer. So the organization has to review and control the changes. Changes can be made to the product or the service provision so that it meets the requirement of the customer and uh, there is continuing conformity with the requirements. And, and we have to maintain records of all this and the person who was authorized to make these changes. His name and designation should also appear. So we cannot, and nobody can make changes unless the changes are made by the authorized person, authorized by the organization, the changes shall not be valid and they should not be considered. So the organization has to retain the records describing the results of the reviews of changes of the changes and the persons authorizing the changes their record has also to be maintained who is authorizing the change so there has to be someone who is authorized by the organization for making any changes and any necessary actions arising from the review so when we carry out the review we have to ensure that the product is meeting the requirement of the customer and if there is any action uh, arising from the reviews we have to take that action and record it so that's all this is a very small clause and i i hope you have understood the requirement it is regarding the control of changes that means if we have to make any changes we have to control these changes it has these changes have to be done by the authorized people only and not by any Tom, Dick and Harry 
so we have to ensure that there are people who are authorized to make changes to the product or the service provider in case it is necessary so that the product or the service meets the customer requirement in any case so i hope you are liking my videos and if you are liking my videos please give me a thumbs up give me a like and also share my videos with your friends and colleagues who may also get benefited by it and uh, they could be your friends or colleagues or anybody working in the field of iso and uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon uh, so that as and when i load the video the information will reach you without any delay and you will be able to see my videos immediately but that will happen only when you have subscribed to my channel and also press the bell icon so don't forget to press the bell icon thank you very much and uh, next sunday we are meeting on clause number 8.6 release of products and services so see you next sunday bye bye